water in a pinhole had water in it. Probably salt water. You want to taste it, I'll save you so. Had to cut my saw off from going rock. The last piece of it cut all the way through. Round. Got some more water to come out of it. This is what I've talked about in one of my videos about uh, the Flint Ridge out of Georgia. It's one of my favorite materials, but you get something real thin, it'll be a pinhole in it or a piece of a crab shell or, or whatever. You don't ever know what's going to be in it. But usually, if they show up like that, you got enough thickness to get rid of them. And if you don't, when it's real, real thin, I like to leave them in there. I think it just gives it character. Just chip right over the hole. Starting to get it thin on this side. I, I bet you that hole runs all the way through there. If it does, I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> this stuff's not heat treated either. Uh, I've I got a whole pile of like two five gallon bucket full of heat treats right now. But I want to do a video while I was cutting rocks. That's the only thing I had to put like napping on other than sitting. I blanked out a couple of sitting knives that was out of some small of them sitting. Did a video on them. I'll call this part three. I'll call one block, one knife blade I made one, part one, and the other two, and this one three.
I can run that in the cross there. It's right through there. We well, got lucky on that. Then we'll run this one. Tend to tip. Bend the tip real thin. Yeah. There we go. Let's see, that one went right across there. It's probably where it's gonna break. If that hole runs all the way through there and it go under, it's probably gonna break. Went all the way across the hole. You can go under it, so it's probably why it didn't break. It's a spot right here. Gonna break right there where that hole was at. Track went all the way around, you can see it. Probably just hit too hard trying to get that out of there. And it vibrated around the hole and caused that cry. I could see a little hairline there to start with, but it's done got a lot bigger now. They're going to swap to a smaller belly.
it on. Try a little bit more, and if I don't get it out, I'm gonna quit the pressure flake it out. I'm just scared of hitting too hard and trying to get it out easy. The easy way is lightly hitting on it, it's not working. And, uh, just a regular old rock and did another old track for this. I come back left field and locked the skew out of it. We got a track in this joker. Right there where I'm hitting. The track called me to make it stay about twice as narrow as I wanted to make it. If I get this piece to do as good as that one did, I'd be tickled paint. pressure flake the rest of it. I'll be doing this pressure flake it. I'm gonna start hitting on it to shape it up. Be gonna hit it too hard and broke it. Alright, hope y'all enjoyed that one. That'd be part three.